On November 3rd, 2021, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, released the Medicare program calendar year 2022 payment policies under the physician fee schedule and other changes to Part B payment policies. There were a lot of topics included, and in this video, we will focus our attention on the hot topic of split or shared evaluation and management services. Providers who work for the same practice group can split or share an evaluation or e &M visit. This means that both a doctor and a non-physician practitioner or NPP can provide the service. Doctors get paid more than NPPs for the same service. For visits in the non-facility, for example, office setting, when an e &M visit is performed in part by a physician and an NPP, the physician is permitted to bill for the visit as long as the visit meets the conditions for services furnished incident to a physician's professional services. However, e &M visits provided in the facility environment by a physician and an NPP in the same group are defined as split or shared e &M visits and the physician or a practitioner who performs the substantive or a majority of the work is the one who bills for the visit. Now, before I get into the changes and clarifications, let me say, hey there and welcome. If you are new here, you don't know me yet. I'm Clarice Warner, the girl with the pearls, the founder and education director of the Professional Reimbursement Network, LLC, where coding education is key. And on this channel, I provide you with information, tips, and strategies on how to become a certified marketable medical coder. As a result of my straightforward strategies, tips, and optimistic approach to education and learning, I've served hundreds of students and helped them transform to become certified medical coders who have developed dynamic careers in the business of healthcare and are valuable resources in their own right. Consider subscribing to my channel to get the latest and greatest information and tips you need to become a certified marketable medical coder. Oh, and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications of my weekly videos. CMS is updating its long-standing policies for split or shared e &M visits to better reflect current medical practice. The evolving role of non-physician practitioners as members of the medical team and also to clarify payment conditions that must be met in order to bill Medicare for these services. They are establishing the following in the calendar year 2022 PFS final rule. So as I mentioned before, e &M visits provided in the facility environment by a physician and an MPP in the same group are defined as split or shared e &M visits. The physician or practitioner who performs the substantiative or majority of the work is the one who bills for the visit. The substantiative element of the visit will account for more than half of the overall time spent by 2023. For 2022, the substantiative phase can be more than half of the overall time or history, physical exam, and medical decision-making, except for critical care, which can only be more than half of the total time. Split or shared visits can be reported for new as well as established patients and initial and subsequent visits, as well as prolonged services. To help inform policy and guarantee program integrity, a modifier is required on the claim to identify these services. Now pay attention folks, here is the indication that more modifiers are on the horizon. The two people who performed the visit must be identified in the medical record. The person who provides the substantive section of the medical record must also sign and date it. The amended policies will be published 
in a new regulation at 42 CFR 415.140. You have learned about the changes to the evaluation and management services regarding split or shared services. You have also learned that CMS dropped these gems in the calendar year 2022 physician fee schedule final rule. There will be a link in the description below. And lastly, you have learned CMS has paved the way for new modifiers. Questions of the day. Were you aware of these updates in the PFS calendar year 2022 final rule? And how do you keep up with these updates and changes? Oh, and are you aware of the drama surrounding this guidance? More on that in a bit. Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. My final thoughts, CMS has revised the split shared e &M guidance in a transition year, which makes things a bit confusing. <laughs> you know, the office e &M guidance has been changed for 2021 and it is based on either time or medical decision-making. Well, currently facility services e &M guidance has not changed and they are still bound by the 95 or 97 guidance of three key components, history, exam, and medical decision-making. So this new guidance is provided for where we are right now and where we are going in the future. Now, if you know me, I love this. <laughs> I often say, be proactive, not reactive. Anyway, outside of all of that confusion, some CMS Medicare Administrative Contractors, or MACs, didn't get the assignment and have not only misinterpreted the guidance, but also printed and posted the misinformation. CMS had been clear that MACs are not to interpret the guidance, but state the guidance provided by CMS. I'm sure there will be more to come on this, so stay tuned. I'm Clarice Warner, the girl with the pearls, the founder and education director of the Professional Reimbursement Network, LLC, where coding education is key, providing you with information, tips, and strategies on how to become a certified marketable medical coder. And if you are interested in more information on these tips and others on how to become a certified marketable medical coder, well then check out these videos and check this out. Are you interested in medical coding but not sure where to start and scared of wasting time and resources? Let me help you with the right steps to become a certified marketable medical coder. Learn more at bit.ly slash five steps coder. If you liked the video, don't forget to let me know by hitting the thumbs up, hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. So you are informed every week when I upload new content. As I said, I love hearing from you. So let me know you were here by providing a comment, um, asking a question, or just stopping by to say hi. <laughs> you can also give me a little love by sharing this video on your social media platforms. Tag me in your video share at prncodingedu. Let's stay connected and connect others. Well, 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 you, my friend, have stayed until the end. Now, let me know where you are checking in from. I love to see where our reach is. <laughs> if you want to learn more about the wonderful world of health information, medical coding, and or compliance, then watch one of these videos. And remember, be safe, be kind, and don't wish for it, work for it. Until next time, take care, and thanks so much for watching.